Happy Halloween from the Muppets! Hey, hey, does anybody know any good ghost stories? Oh. Oh. I do. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to this special spooktacular episode of Muppet Monday. Today, I'll be looking at the two Halloween episodes of The Muppet Show, both included on the Muppet Show Monster Laughs with Vincent Price VHS tape. And speaking of which, that is the first episode we will be looking at. The plot of the episode is there is a three-headed monster waiting backstage who wants to audition. The only problem? He... she... This gopher is about to become a gun for... Scooter, what are you talking about? They are terrible. Work on television much? Always. Sometimes. Never. Uh, I, I think he's always have some problems. Which one of you is the leader? Uh, he is. Uh, he is. She is. In fact, they got lots of problems. The only person they seem to impress is Fozzie Bear. I never thought I'd be jealous of a guy with three heads. But outside of that, there is very little story to this episode. So what do I like about this episode? Well, first of all, this was the first episode of The Muppet Show I ever saw. I had that tape I was talking about as a child, and I watched it all the time. I like that it's a good mix of both spooky and funny. So tonight, there will be no craziness, no slapstick, and no silliness. <laughs> Or at least not much of it. The episode also has some great puppetry, especially in the I'm looking through you number. <laughs> One of the most important things about The Muppet Show is making sure the guest star feels comfortable in the environment and can play along and make the illusion seem more believable. Vincent Price does a great job with this, as his chemistry with all of the Muppets is superb. Every night at the stroke of midnight, the master turns into a screaming, maniacal, demonic, raging, bloodlusting animal. And then I get me. I may not have realized it at the time, but this was a great episode to see first, but it's not perfect. So what are the things I don't like? Well, unfortunately, it doesn't have much rewatch value. A lot of the jokes and the surprises just don't have the same impact when you see them the second time. Also, if you have young kids, scientists throughout the city confirmed that such an would be impossible. I remember when I was a kid, I always had to hide whenever Thudge McGurk came on screen, but every child is different. And lastly, this is a bit of a nitpick, the closing number with Vincent Price called You've Got a Friend has been cut from both the VHS and the Season 1 DVD, and it's a real shame for two reasons. One, it's just a great song, there's just so many Muppet monsters, it's a fun song to watch. And two, because this song was cut, that means the episode ends on a Talking Houses sketch. If you don't know what the Talking Houses are, here's an example. <laughs> My youngest boy is very interested in medicine. Oh, he's a doctor. No, a hospital. <laughs> yeah, it's easy to tell why this didn't make it past season one. But overall, what do I think of this episode? Like I said, it's creepy and it's funny. It's got some great songs. Maybe the story isn't anything special, but eh. You can ignore it and enjoy Vincent Price just being, well, himself. I'll include a link in the description to where you can watch You've Got a Friend. This is an episode you should watch. 
All right, one Halloween episode down, one more to go. I'll see you all on the next spooktacular Muppet Show vlog.